I'd say I'm a routine guy. You know, I like to know what, what's ahead, and I think I've uh, incorporated a nice little routine to my, to my life. On game days, I do like, from the morning to like the game, I do the exact same thing. Um, I'll eat the same food in the morning, like listen to the same songs when I wake up. The hair routine's been a long time coming. I've got some uh, hidden curls under here. There's some days where I, if I if I shower the night before, I wake up and it's like it's so poofed up. If I really try to look my best, it'll be throw a little blow dry in there with a little comb and just a tiny bit of gel. You know, I kind of learned it from uh, Robbie Fabry. Throw a little water in there and uh, let it dry a little bit, and then get your product, throw it in, and you're good to go. Obviously, the standard hockey hair is you know kind of like flowing out the back of your helmet. I just think I don't know. Great hockey hair is when you know maybe you get into. Uh, get into a little scrum and the helmet comes off or you're skating down the ice and it's just flowing. Henrik Lundqvist, the king. It's no secret that guy's got some nice hair. He's a good looking dude. I think on my team, it's uh, Sean Monahan. Best best hair, like it's, I think it's great. You know, Matthew Kachuk, he's kind of got something a little different than, than everyone else with the shaved sides and the, the curly top. Just looking back and seeing uh, Yarmar Yager, long hair, mullet. And Yarmar Yager. I think I think that'll go down in history, in my in my history books, as the as the greatest hockey hair. Mike Commodore in the playoffs in Calgary when he had the red afro. People still talk about it in Calgary, so best hockey hair of all time.